like my college and my workout class was on top. Start episode four. If you want to uh, if you feel like you have a voice, you can make the choices of what you want to do. Start. Now, I remember, as you guys know, we do gameplays like this. We do podcasts about all your Marvel TV and DC stuff we do doctor who you can find all that at uh scifitology.com s y f y t o l o g y um there are new episodes from last week uh doctor who gasm and the ages of flashpoint that are uh, up right now on soundcloud itunes and where you listen to podcasts just search scifitology and the names of the uh, podcast itself, the Who Gasm and the Ages of Flashpoint, real cool stuff. Who Gasm comes with the whole Doctor Who universe, everything that's going on with the new episodes, uh, two amazing hosts on there. And you got the Ages of Flashpoint podcast to cover all your Marvel and DC television shows to come on during the week. Um, comes up all at one time. So you guys make sure you go and uh, check that out. Like I said, SoundCloud, iTunes, and more podcasts to find. They also had the first episode of the Game of Shirt, which covers like all the game and stuff that happened, big news and everything like that. I think they covered a lot of the um, Project Scorpio stuff on there. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. I don't talk a lot during the break because all the dialogue so you guys can hear it so I'm not messing it up, but I do have some real like fucked up reactions and stuff as stuff happens. Um, I'm really geeked to see what happens in episode 4. These Telltale games are awesome. So let's go. Yeah, let's start episode 4. Oh, uh, look at the little flower petal in the right corner. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't nope. finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Sydney, you only got one kid. You only got one kid, bro. It can't cost that much. Open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Big B. And thanks hey, for beauty. covering for me last time, too. What's up, baby? Big B? How could you do this to me? Because she was I bad, guess I finally bad, see huh? you for who you are! She's cute, tell she's me a cutie. Did it. Just tell me who did it! <laughs> no, you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? All the little fables together in this one, man. A Bloody Mary thing. Uh, tripped me out. I was trying to figure out who she was till she said her name. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep moving Ouch. this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, oh, they are, don't move man. It. Ah. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. 
Yeah, sure, why not? bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This <laughs> is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Cause I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been... an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right here, guys. Come on. Anyways... Guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? So... How do you, um... feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know? When you passed out, or... Or... Died, I guess? It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <sighs> Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. 
The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... Lone Shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? Yeah, what do what you does think it mean? I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. Huh. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Con. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that, now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Shit. Well... Wolf's residence. I have to make some bacon That's if you don't go back to the farm. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. 
I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion table. Probably. You got blood over. all over you. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. What's up, little mermaid? You want to speak to Big B? <laughs> yeah, guys, that's crazy that this, uh, before every episode, that just be the, um, uh, intro. Uh, you know, it's the, uh, the way they write and tell this story is amazing. By far, like I've stated before, this is my favorite Telltale game so far. And the crazy thing is, this was one of the first ones that came out. And it had been sitting there on my Xbox. Uh, Downloaded it, they gave away for free one time for like the games for gold thing. And I had never took the chance to play it until I finished the Game of Thrones the other day. And I was like, you know what, I want to play another Telltale game. I just happened to scroll through when it was there started to play it. I thought it was like straight up like werewolf horror type deal. I had no idea what it was and the whole thing about uh, episode four and she's clothing. The whole thing about it being like this. Hi, fables and Sheriff. Crazy. Hi, Nerissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Huffin Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Yeah, those must be calls. <laughs> Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is... I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. Pudding and you pie. You had to wait and tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone. Oh, no Sebastian. And I don't know what to do. 
Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? If I just... No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Uh, I made a mistake. Don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. Uh. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic, but we managed to understand each other. I did my job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. And the past few days have been... <sighs> trying. You have to trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? It better be. What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? 
I have other matters to attend to. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Mm. I trust Talk you. about living in the he past. Secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> hey, and we can't come to the phone you. right now, I so should... leave a message at the beep and we'll get back. 
back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Did you ever see the Crooked Man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But, come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's Axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there, and she uh, gets under Feels my skin. skin epic, you know? like something's I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. Snobs. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. You know that butcher shop, the cut oh. above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the package. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. I kind of want to go to the butcher, butcher shop, shop, 
the cut because above. when I was in the thing uh, is, Dan Dumb's I don't think office, it's meat I found that box from the butcher, and I don't remember seeing anything from Lucky Pong. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Man. And they ain't got no money and they ain't got nothing to offer me to kill them. But yeah, that's what they want me to do. But to be honest with y'all, I want to do dead because he almost killed me anyway. <laughs> you know, he's a horrible sheriff because he knows none of this stuff is going on in this city. He's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, Johan. I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You'll find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing. Here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. 
I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. You're such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. That's a lot of fucking oh, meat. You got to be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. How are you doing? Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big B. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen. Just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make, in the moment. Easy, even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. That symbol, it's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? 
Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Everybody on here? You know anything about this? I, I I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. James, who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The gear. Slave labor to work it. So these must be the raw materials. No wonder he needs so much. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. How the hell did all this happen? I didn't see it. Stop it. This is a whole lot bigger than we thought. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Why not, like, just go out the other way, lock it so it looks like he never even went back there so we don't get it? Well, I guess he did break the lock. So we don't freak out, like, you look like you're in trouble or not. I don't think he went back there. Jersey, don't 
Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... my fucking Jack, system. Jack, what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure. I'm the guy that keeps uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna... Rip your fucking lungs out! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like it went with Tweedle. Ah! You fucking mother... Oh, motherfucker! Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. 
Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. Sick piece of... The Shard. It's the Shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. Oh! Just shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke? having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Oh, God, he never finished the cigarette. How much money he must lose in cigarettes? About what? He takes about two puffs in the trashes. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. We'll go do it then. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the fact? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? There's the old wrecking bowl himself. Higby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> Just one moment, please. What happened? <laughs> Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. But that's oh. over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Huh? Oh, 
what's going on, guys?